All right, what's going on? I am back from my winter hibernation. It's springtime, hallelujah. We got some unseasonably warm weather this week. Uh, I think it's gonna hit over 70 degrees today, which is pretty insane for early April. So today I'm trying for some early springtime blackfish, which can be tricky. They're just starting to wake up this time of year. The water's still cold, so I'm expecting a really slow bite, but if I could stick like one or two fish, I'm gonna be happy. So actually, prior to this trip, I went down to the shoreline and harvested uh, some Asian crabs. It's pretty chilly today, so I'm hoping uh, I can find some crabs relatively quick. I try, and, I try and find the rocks that are like close to the water, but not too deep underwater. So something like this has potential to have some asian crabs in it oh my god the mother load the first flip look at that that's a gold mine oh, i gotta keep getting them dude what a flip i'm not joking that was my first flip of the day get off lost a big boy man that was awesome this one has potential to be loaded <sighs> yep mother load holy crap that's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, I messed up and left the bucket closed. That was the mother load right there. I missed like at least three more good ones. There he is. Oh, he broke his claw. They're so good. There we go. They're so good at tunneling away from you. So I'm gonna throw those on a jig, sink them down on some structure and see if we can catch some blackfish. I think the bite is gonna totally suck, but we'll see. All right, let's see what we can do here. Got my bucket of Asian crabs. I'm gonna have most of them. Use the smaller ones whole. Really, I cut all the legs off. I just want like a little bite-sized piece since these fish are just waking up down there. I'm using a nice small jig head too. I think this is three quarter ounce. Nothing crazy. Just throw that on. That's a nice little bite-sized morsel for a tatog. Drop it right down in here. I'm on. <clears throat> Sorry, I missed the hook set. I'm rusty with my filming. Oh, he just popped off. Oh, <laughs> right there. All right, they are chewing. Confirmed tog chewing. Oh man, I gotta uh gotta wake up out here man. I'm sleeping. Alright, let's go. They're down there baby. That was uh looked like a small one. That is a huge spirit razor. Alright guys I am sorry I totally suck at filming but I finally got a nice tog on the boat. Here we go baby that might just be a keeper. Nice white chin mail. Oh, my first hog I've landed of the season. Let's go, baby. Hallelujah. Here he is. Nice, beautiful, healthy tog. Look at this thing, man. Just a, just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. We're gonna let him go. There he goes. All right, let's see if I can actually catch a black fish on camera. I'm gonna go back to that same spot. That was the first hit I've had today and it ended up in a hookup. It's been a very slow bite. I think they're really still waking up down there. But let's see if I can get one. What is there only one fish down there? Come on. This bite is still so lackluster, man. I'm talking like once every 30 minutes i'm getting a bite if that much more like one an hour if that man it's just like they're not super stacked up yet and they're just not showing too consistently at least not with me i mean i don't i know other guys have got them so maybe i just suck there we go that's a fish <laughs> nice he was playing with me man that's what I'm talking about. Feels like an okay tog. Come on up. Yeah, look at that. Another nice little white chinna, baby. <laughs> oh, baby, I've missed these fish. Oh, man, might be a little smaller than the last one, but uh, I'll take that, man. For early April, I will absolutely take that. That's what I'm talking about. 
Look at the dagger on this thing, man. Woof. Look at that front tooth. Oh, that's sharp. Here we go, man. Another tog, maybe right at keeper size, maybe a little short. I'm not keeping them. Nice white chin male. Away he goes. Oh, I'm fired up. Fired up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. That was something. That was very subtle hit. Come on. I think, or maybe my jig just moved slightly. What? What the? F what was that? What was that, dude? Oh, it's f pigeons. Oh my! I thought the freaking <laughs> bridge was falling apart for a second. What the heck, man? That just scared the crap out of me. It's always like kind of in the back of my mind when I'm fishing under these bridges. Like, dude, what if something just falls off and freaking smokes me? Ugh. But, uh, all right, I think that was just a pigeon messing with me, pushing stuff in the water. All right, man, I think that's gonna do it for me. I was able to capitalize on a couple of the hits I got, but it is still slow. It's not that lights out tog bite where the second you hit the bottom, you hook it up. It's like a hit every 45 minutes to an hour, if that. I've gotten skunked a few times out here. Um, it took a couple tries to actually start catching fish, but the fish are starting to move in. Fresh migratory stripers should be here any day, if not already. So I'll be targeting those next, and there should be a lot of new content coming out soon. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching.